evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about components. Now at GCSE you may have dealt with forces working either up and down or left and right. We are going to be discussing forces that are neither working in the y direction or the x direction. They're actually in fact working in both. And I'm going to give you an example here. This is a river. So these are the river banks here. So if I just get a pen. So this is a bank here. And this is a bank here. And this is a river. And this box here is being pulled towards this river um, at an angle. And if I was pulling it this way, it would move this way. Because I'm pulling it at an angle, not only will it move towards the bank, it will also move across a little bit. So I need to find how much force is working in respective axes. And I do this using Sokotoa. Now, Sokotoa is trigonometry. Sine theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cos theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent. If I draw a triangle here, there's my angle. That is the opposite of my angle. This is my adjacent because it's next to. And that there is the hypotenuse. So this is my diagram here. So I actually want to find out how much force is working in the x direction. So I'm going to take a component. And how I do it is I draw a lovely little dotty diagram here. I call that F in the x. And then I'm also going to draw from this point. I'm going to write that as F of y. Now, here, the force... The real force, the actual force you put on, is always the hypotenuse. So this here is always the hypotenuse, always. I always draw components in dotty lines, so I'm able to see that they're not the actual force. So this is my hypotenuse of any triangle, and this is my x direction. So. I've got my adjacent and my hypotenuse, so I'm going to use cos. So cos 30 equals my adjacent, which is fx over 30. So 30 cos 30 equals, grab a calculator, 30 cos 30 is 25.98 newtons. Now, the next one, you can do whatever you wished. The x coordinates and the y coordinates are at right angles to each other. So I know that that angle there is 60 degrees. I can, if I wanted to, use that information and use cos again. So I would have cos 60 equals Fy over 30. So 30 cos 60 equals Fy, which would equal 30 cos 60 is 15 newtons in my y direction. Or you could do something a little bit different, and I'll show you that now. So, I know that currently I have got my 30 newtons here, and I know that my F of X, because that's at 30 degrees, is 25.98. Newtons. Now, I can use that there's my F of Y, but this I can move over here. So 
There's my right angle again. And you can actually use Pythagoras. A squared, B and C. B squared equals C squared. So 25.98 squared plus B squared equals 30 squared. So 30 squared minus 25.98 squared. B squared is 225.0396. Square root that. 15 newtons as expected there. Or of course, I could use trig again. I know that is opposite. So I could have done sine 30 equals, sorry, F y over 30, 30 sine 30 equals 15 newtons. So there are many ways to be able to take components and it all hinges on trigonometry. Sorry for my cold, I do apologize. But it is important you're able to label diagrams and examiner will never mark you down for labeling a diagram. So if you ever need to label components on, you're more than welcome to. In later videos, I'm going to be talking about how to resolve big diagrams. I'm going to talk about how to take more components of more things.